Motor Week is made possible by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper and TireRack.com. Collector cars are just like baseball cards or stamps. Maintaining mint condition is imperative to their value. But unlike cards or stamps, cars take up a lot of space. Luckily, there are places like this. Car storage is not a new industry, but it has boomed recently in step with the collector car market. And while sales are cooling, the cars still need somewhere to stay. The car storage industry itself is growing because people want more and more cars. You back up 50, you know, 25 years ago, normal household had two cars, right? Now the normal household has three or four cars. Chuck Heinley owns Collector's Car Corral, just down the road from our MotorWeek headquarters in Owings Mills, Maryland. Collector's Car Corral is a world-class, state-of-the-art, climate-controlled, highly secure storage facility. We store roughly right under 200 cars. Our clientele is someone that has three or four cars and has a two-car garage. We do have some car collectors as well here, so we have multiple guys that have maybe five or 10 cars, but a large amount of our clientele is someone that has a handful of cars and it's not enough space at their house. I have two here and I kind of rotate. I usually have one at home. Right now I have my 57 Thunderbird. I typically bring whatever car I have at home leave it here, I drive one of the other cars, enjoy it for a while. What I really like about the Collector's Car Corral is it's clean, it's extremely clean. Clients can opt for the annual membership or go month to month with car space prices ranging from $350 to just under $500. We are open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m seven days a week and the clients can also get their cars 24 hours a day if they want to. We're just, we're car people, we live and breathe cars. When a car person comes in, another car enthusiast comes in, they look at us, they know we know what we're doing and they trust us with their car. So they feel good about leaving their vehicle with us. The circle of trust starts at check-in where general manager Jonathan Lake meticulously documents each car. Then there's the actual storage. We never parked a car with just one person. It's always a two-person parking. We call it a parking team. And we have uh, hand signals that will actually park the car safe and sound. Inside, it's a museum. But outside, Collector's Car Corral is purposefully inconspicuous and closed to the public. Once the client hands their keys over, they go directly into a key vault that only select staffers can access with their fingerprint. And it's all monitored 24 seven. Well, we have over, as you can see, 50 interior and exterior cameras, all with motion sensors, as well as they're tied into our security system and live monitored. Most car storage facilities offer complimentary snacks and beverages while you wait for your car. But Collector's Car Corral takes that perk to the next level. We wanted to bring the car community not just to pick up their cars and stuff. So we want to have events like F1 viewing parties, Super Bowl parties. So it's not just about storing your car. We consider a, a social car enthusiast event lounge as well. Gentlemen. Hey, how are you doing? Almost hit a pole. How you doing? Good. Doing well, doing well. Good seeing you. How you I really doing? like the lounge. Sometimes I just like to come here and you know have a soda, and invariably there'll be a couple of other guys, the car guys here, and we'll just chat. Despite the pristine facilities and all the six-figure cars, Collector's Car Corral reminds me of a Main Street barber shop. Clients don't want to get in and get out; they want to get in and hang out, and that goes for Chuck too. Awesome. Every day I walk in here, I still smile. It's just the best office to walk into. Myself and Jonathan, it just every time we walk in here, I mean, this place is incredible. We love it.